Hello, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will set up our custom MetaHuman inside Unreal. Previously, we prepared our character and exported our files. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. Open in any new scene in Unreal. Then, open Quixel Bridge within Unreal and locate the MetaHuman you worked on previously. Download and import it into the scene. Now, let's import our files. They're located in the DNA Calibration Output folder. I'd recommend changing their names. Otherwise, when you create a new character, it might overwrite your existing character files. First, import head. Inside import settings, find skeleton and select face archetype skeleton. Extend the advanced settings. Check morph target. For physic asset, set it as face archetype physics. Normal import method to import normals. Normal generation method to built in. Compute weighted normals to one. Set material import method to do not create material. Import textures to off. Finally, press import. Double click on imported head mesh and open its properties. Inside it, find LOD0 section. Inside sections, find head mesh and set recompute tangent to green. This recompute setting is only for head mesh. Next, find LOD info section. Set skin cache usage to enabled. Inside animation rig, set default animation rig as face control board control rig. For the post process anim blueprint, set it as face post process anim BP. Last step for the settings is adding two elements to asset user data under skeletal mesh. Set one of them as DNA asset. Set second one as asset guideline. And save all changes of the head asset. To finalize our head asset, now we need to use our DNA file. Import the DNA file. Inside import settings, select your custom head mesh. Time to import our body in Unreal. Drag the exported body FBX file into the Unreal scene. In the import options of the body FBX file, set the skeleton as the MetaHuman base skeleton. For the physics asset, choose the body physics named exactly as the body type used in MetaPyke. Turn morph targets on. Choose the normal import method as import normals and tangents. Finally, press import. Double click on the imported body mesh and open its properties. Under Animation Rig, set the default animation rig as MetaHuman Control Rig. Then, set the Post Process Anim Blueprint as the Anim BP named exactly with your body type used in MetaPipe. Now, let's find our MetaHuman Blueprint and drag it into the scene. Open Blueprint Settings. Since my character doesn't have grooming, I will delete the grooming. I will also delete the clothes, but if you want to use them, feel free to keep them. Double click on the head mesh. Also, open your custom head mesh. Inside the original head, you will find materials. Search for their location and then assign those materials to the custom mesh. Do this process for both head and body. After assigning materials, you can change the head and body meshes inside the MetaHuman Blueprint. Also, if you encounter a seam issue that comes from the skin material, double-click on the skin material of the MetaHuman. Inside material search for neck hide scale setting and set it as zero. After that seam issue will be solved. As you can see, there are no seam anymore. And that's it. Good luck with your metahumans and bye.